Hey everybody, um, just want to talk a little bit about how to build your, you know, a lot of barbers talk about how to build your clientele, but I want to talk to you about how to build your your people around you, how you build up having barbers in your shop, which creates a great ambience, it's a lot of fun, the more barbers you have. Now, I get a lot of people complaining about there's not enough good barbers out there, and um I think that's due to training, you guys. Uh, if you want to get good barbers in your shop, you have to train them. Don't go for the guys that already know how to cut. Find guys that have potential, life potential, life skills, people who are um, good at drawing, um, have great personalities, uh, other things outside that they're into that barbering might be something that they're attracted to to make money. And uh, it all comes down to training. I'm not going to make it all the, you know, a super long video. All my videos are pretty short. So when people ask me, well, how do you keep barbers in the shop? I mean, we it's not easy. They're all, it's a high turnaround. A lot of times you train a barber from scratch and they leave and they go work at another shop because they're not happy with how you're doing things. Um, that's just how, the, how it goes. But if you're willing to grab people, I tell people all the time, they come to the shop and they want to work there and, I, and they'll say, oh, you know, I've been cutting for, you know, three years or four years and that's not what I'm looking for and I'm really trying to find people who I think would make great barbers and be a part of their journey and if you don't develop that attitude you're always going to have a hard time if you try to pick up barbers that are already trained at other barber shops obviously there's an issue the reason why they're not there it's not always the shop sometimes it's the barber sometimes he has a bad attitude sometimes he's not willing to listen or she so uh, hope this answers some questions for you guys just train like there's so many guys out here there's so many kid, young people I see in my classes that can't find places to work because everybody's waiting for them to finish their course and they've got a lot of potential but as barber owners sometimes you got to put in that extra time and maybe say okay look this day I'm not going to cut hair that's how I won't book any appointments for myself I'm just going to assist my barbers I do that on Sunday Sundays I go in and I don't book customers. If we get booked out and I know that the barbers can handle the cuts that are coming in and someone walks in, I'll take them. But uh, I'll spend that entire Sunday just fine tuning the skills of my barbers. Now I'm not sitting over them, hovering over them the whole time. I step back, have a look, help out the customers, answer the phone, sweep the floors, and do all that stuff. But you gotta be willing to do that, uh, folks, uh, especially over here in uh, Australia. The, the barbering game is just now starting to really, really, really take off. So there's a lot of barber shops opening. And what the guys don't realize who are opening these shops is that you need barbers to work in these shops. It's not lucrative if you don't have barbers working in the shop. It just doesn't work. So guys, hopefully, if you know anyone who owns a shop who's having trouble keeping barbers in there, please take my advice. I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, some somebody who's too cool for school or any of that stuff it's just an idea i came up with and i thought i'd share it so hit me up in the comments uh subscribe to the channel and share it with people you know even if you don't subscribe to the channel this might not have anything to do with you but i know you know a guy who owns a barber shop or a barber who's interested in the game or how about you new people who are approaching barbering tell me how you feel about it thanks